In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a scatter plot in SPSS that can represent a nonlinear association between two variables. And in this example, the study was relevant to number of gaming hours played per day and well being, and the quadratic function variable was created in order to conduct a hierarchical multiple regression. Now, to create the scatter plot, you have to go through analyze, regression, and curve estimation. Now, this curve estimation utility does give you results relevant to a curvy linear regression analysis. However, it doesn't give you enough results, in my opinion, to create a full report. And that's why I did the analysis in hierarchical multiple regression, or just the linear utility, in the previous video. But I actually use curve estimation in order to get the scatter plot. So click on curve estimation. Now, what you need to put into the dependent variable box is the dependent variable, well being and then put the gaming hours variable in the independent box. You do not need the squared variable for this analysis. Then make sure you have quadratic selected and deselect linear because we feel like in this case the quadratic function was statistically significant in the hierarchical multiple regression and I suggest that it's not really appropriate to interpret the linear effect so I'm not going to have a linear line of best fit in the scatter plot. I just want the quadratic one. So click on OK and SPSS produces some results that can also be found in the hierarchical multiple regression that I conducted earlier, especially over here with respect to the R squared associated with the Model 2 statistic. But it doesn't give you an individual analysis of the quadratic function as distinct from the linear effect. So for me, it's not very useful. What is useful, though, is this chart that it creates because it creates a line of best fit that is consistent with the quadratic function. And this is depicting the association between gaming hours, independent variable, and well-being on the y-axis. But it's far from pretty enough to be included in a report. So let me do a few changes here to make it look better. Double click on the scatter plot. Double click again. And we want to get rid of the fill because we want that to be white. Click apply. We also want to get rid of the border. Click apply get rid of this title here and we do want to change the scale to having only one decimal place not two we also want to change the text style to 12 and something like a bold actually you probably want one decimal place there so one decimal place and scale incrementing by 0.5. There we go. I want to double click on this y axis line and make it a bit thicker. Put a 1 there. And we also want to change the y axis now. You just got to keep clicking. Click once. There we go. And we're going to put a weighting of 1 for that. And scale 0 to 10 hours is probably about right. Change the number formatting to just one decimal place and the text change the text style to 12 with bold and I'm going to move this 0 because it's right on the edge I'm going to move that a little bit and you change that by adding a margin maybe 5% there we go see how it's pushed that off the y-axis that looks much better we also want to have a title here on the y-axis labels and ticks click display access title click apply and there we go well-being average I want to change that to just something that looks a little bit better so well being something like that and change that to 12 click apply looks a bit better then you can click on that once click on this once and that video gaming something like this hours get rid of this thing here just click on it you gotta find the square just there we go got rid of that and usually scatter plots look best when they're actually symmetrically square 
Something like that. So here's the scatter plot. You could even make it smaller. Just make that a little bit smaller. There we go. So that's something that could be included in a report. It's the curvy linear effect between video gaming and well-being. And we can see that the peak is about three hours a day. Now I simulated these data to be consistent with a study which did depict a curvy linear effect. I can't remember if the peak was three hours. It might have been closer to one to two hours from memory. I just couldn't get quite the data to simulate consistent that way. But it was somewhere around here that the peak in well-being was achieved playing video games. So something like one to two hours a day in reality. But ultimately the take-home message here is that in order to create a scatter plot that depicts the line of best fit consistent with a quadratic effect, you've got to use the analyze regression curve estimation utility, not the linear regression utility.